Now, if you've been watching our practices, you've noticed the, the unique jerseys with the different markings on them. The creator, the mad scientist yes. behind it, LeVar Arrington, former NFL Pro Bowler. Uh, you're with XP, Extreme Precision. Give us the, the backing, uh, the background behind this design. The background behind Extreme Precision was to create a technology that made it simple to learn the fundamentals of football. So by, by making the communication between a coach and a player clearer, you get better results. So what we did was we body mapped jerseys, shields, and different products that, that were invented to be able to give direct targets. So whether it be a number one, two, three, whether it be aiming points on, on a jersey, we body mapped what it is that, that the kids and, and what the players are looking at. And it's not just target points, you also say it stresses safety as well. That's correct. The, the reason why safety becomes a part of, of what we do with the Extreme Precision platform is by raising their level of understanding, a coach's level of understanding of how to teach it, a player's understanding of how they're retaining what's being taught to them and the clarity of what it is that they're supposed to do raises their level of play. By raising their level of understanding and play, it ultimately makes the game a safer game because you have guys out there that are playing the game the way that they're supposed to as opposed to what you could maybe label as reckless sure. of some Un sort. Understanding up, safety up, certainly sounds correct, good. Let's correct. see it. Let's see how sure. good it looks here. This right. is Abdul Bello. He's one of the All-Americans. Florida State commit. Let's yep. see how it works. And, and that's Coach Sudan right there. Coach, what, what technique are you going to show him? We're going to work on a reach block. So he's a left tackle. I'm a left defensive end, so he's going to work on working outside, getting his head and his hands on a pr appropriate pad level. All right. Okay. I'm going to open up. Set. Go. Open. Hands. Okay. All right. Now freeze. Freeze. Now, Stay if there. you look at this, this situation right here, Bello has his hands in the appropriate places. It's inside, aiming point. Outside, he has a hold of it outside. So by having the shield with the proper aiming points on there, you give the player the opportunity to clearly see where his hands, where his eyes should go, and now he has the ability to focus in on where, what is his pad level, where are his feet, what was his footwork like, is his back correct, is his chest correct. There's so many different things that go into doing it fundamentally correctly that if you can take some of, some of the thinking out of it, and make it simple and simplify it, then you have a better chance of him being able to do it properly. And as you said, it doesn't matter what level of football, the targets, those points, they don't change. They don't change. So the same way we just saw Bello do that on, on that drill will be the same way we teach a five-year-old, the same way we teach a six and seven-year-old. You get the proper foundation in place. It's the, it's the proper start, and then now you continue to do the maintenance of it as they continue to grow. And then they grow into a bellow, <laughs> and you get a guy looking like that that's able to do the fundamental techniques properly. You've got a, a very well-rounded All-American on your hands. All-American right here, first-team All-American out of Penn State. More than 400 career tackles in the National Football League. He may know a little something about this. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Offense back on the field. So not only from a safety standpoint, but also just from a being functional, you've got to be able to tackle. As we see LeVar Arrington now, former Penn State NFL linebacker, working with the group, talking about tackling. We'll catch up with LeVar Arrington a, a little bit later on. And you notice these uh, unique uniforms. We know Under Armour can get a little out there with some of their cool looks. This is a... Uh, a partnership with XP, LeVar Arrington's uh, company, Extreme Precision, just about tackling targets, hitting targets, where to grab, not necessarily hold, uh, where to hit, and those kind of things. We'll catch up with him uh, a little bit later on on that. Again, the three-time Pro Bowler, first-team All-American with Penn State years ago. Again, been one of the coaches here, and a little inside baseball. Looks like uh, Craig Howard has uh, caught up with LeVar Arrington, get to him in just a little bit. Jayshon Cornell, another talented uh, defensive lineman. Jayshon Cornell committed to Ohio State. Huge win for Ohio State. He's out of Creighton Durham Hall in, Min in Minnesota. Guys traditionally have gone to Notre Dame. That was a huge win for Ohio State. All right, back on the field. Craig Howard is with LeVar Arrington. 
Matt, we were just talking about player safety and the importance of technique and tackling, and somebody who's really very involved in that, LeVar Arrington. Uh, what's the message you're trying to get across to these players about the little things of playing the game? Well, that's what we're trying to get across to them, is, is paying attention to the little things that are connected to the fundamental values of, of this game. So getting them to, to get their eyes on their work, seeing what it is that they're doing. They, they have target points on their shirts to be able to see exactly where it is that their eyes are supposed to go. And so by doing that, you're educating them on, on technique. By educating them on technique, you're giving them the ability to protect themselves better while playing the game at a higher level while doing so. And player safety has really, over the last few years, become such a, an important topic. Have you seen the transition? It seems like even as you watch games, players are more aware of their target points and how they're contacting players. Well, you, you want to be in a full contact game. You want to be able to play the game at a high level, but not play it in a way where you're you're endangering yourself and others. You can play this game and make tackles, big play tackles, big hit tackles, without hurting yourself and, and a lot of times hurting the person that you're tackling. And that's all about knowing how to do it properly. If you, if you neglect to teach how to tackle and how to block and do the things that involve uh, technique, good strong technique, then now you leave it up to interpretation. These guys are interpreting, well, interpreting what they're doing by dropping their head or closing their eyes because they're unsure of what it is they're supposed to be doing. Then now they're putting themselves in harm's way and the other person that they're playing against. So we're out here at the Under Armour game, uh, the All-American Week, and we're making that a priority to make sure that they understand that those proper techniques need to be uh, a part of what it is that their regimen is, especially during the individual periods before the teams come together and start competing against one another. A great linebacker. You know as well as anybody, you can't hit what you can't see, and you can't play defense if you can't tackle, right? It's a great point. It's a great point. You got to see your work. You got to see your work. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, LeVar. Thank Get you. back to it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Again, LeVar Arrington uh, might know what he's talking about. More than 400 bit. career tackles in the National Football League. Some of the best high school senior football players in the country. It was a good day. It was a damp day, a soggy day, but the Stars did get an opportunity to shine. Coming up next, ESPN Film Room College Football Playoff. Be sure to join us tomorrow on ESPNU at 8 Eastern for practice number two. See you then.